Before I even get to to, to my next question, I, I, w I would like to think that uh, uh, news that has been coming out or views that have been coming out from a few people is that uh, at the end of the day, uh, you are too expectant of the UPND in a short period, of, in a short space of time, as opposed to how the economy has been destabilized uh, in the last uh, 10 years or so. Are you giving them ample time to do their work and uh, deliver diligently? Well, uh, the goodness, if, if, if one were to be charitable about the UPND, is that uh, they themselves gave, gave the, the, you know, this nation benchmarks. Okay? Nobody held a gun to their, you know, to their head. They gave themselves benchmarks. And they themselves said, this is what we shall do in the first 100 days. You know, when we got to September, I remember HH saying, give me up to February. You know, because he thought that February would never come. Then February came, you know, and, and nothing had been achieved. And then now they are saying, no, give us, you know, you know, up to one year. So we are dealing here with the, a government that set out its own benchmarks and, and and we are rating it against those benchmarks and nothing else okay and 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 I, I can i can i can take time grace you know if you mm -hmm. want to 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 give the nation the benchmarks from from european go ahead and for example them. for example uh, the issue of the dollar Okay? This is now sounding like a monotonous uh, song, you know, in a disco house. But the dollar issue, UPND found the dollar at 15 kwacha to a dollar. Okay? And uh, uh, it went on up to 18 kwacha, it's now at 17 kwacha. Against the benchmark, by HH in the opposition, that the that the quacha will appreciate within hours. So what's, what's this debate now? That he give him eight months, you know, he had given himself hours, but even in eight months, the dollar has not appreciated, you know, to the levels of ten quacha to a dollar. He had actually fixed a figure. So nobody is putting this down, pushing this down his throat. He had pushed. And what did he say? He proudly had bragged, you know, that he, I have global connections. The fellows that he does can't have business with, you know, globally. I have global connections. Don't doubt my global connections. You will see what I will be able to do. He goes to the University of Zambia and he addresses University of Zambia students. And he says, why are you worried? You know, under my government, all of you have buzzeries. And it's eight months down the road now. Is those poor boys and girls have no buzzeries. Eight months later. Okay? He said, I'm going to make sure that fuel is cheap. He found the fuel at 17 kwacha. It went on to 26 kwacha. Now, it's brought it back to 25 kwacha and he says that's that's a, an achievement so he himself is failing in these benchmarks he told the zambian people that mini meal will, will be affordable mini meal is still unaffordable by the majority grace of our people here and beyond he said to the small scale farmers that have been struggling with the producing maize and the, and whatever you know he said Forget about the fertilizer, you know, which is now hitting, you know, a thousand quarter per 50 kg bag. I'm going to give the fertilizer to you at the, at the 250 kwacha. He has not delivered on that promise. You know, he, now he turns the story around and says, well, oh, I'm sure you covered his press conference, you know, on the 25th of April. What did he say? 
Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know the extent of uh, the damage, you know, to the treasure. He's lying. I because don't, okay, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kamimba, I'll, I'll, let me bring this uh, aspect in. You, you, you are blaming. You are saying he hasn't. Uh, I'm not blaming. I'm just saying what he said. What he said. That yes. Is, uh, uh, in starting with his benchmark. Yes. Now, the UPND has attributed the current economic situation really uh, to what uh, transpired and what happened to the wolves to the PF, to the Patriotic Front uh, government then, to the Patriotic Front regime, where you were previously as well, and uh, you were a member and you were right up there with uh, the Patriotic Front. How do you gauge what has been <coughs> happening against uh, against the benchmark you are talking about and the magnitude of the work that the UPND now has to put in to, to correct the situation that was created by the former regime? Look, HH made several statements and said in convincing the Zambian people this economy has been mismanaged by PF. Okay? So why is it coming to him with a sense of shock now? He himself seemed to understand the damage caused by PF to this economy. And it is for that reason that the Zambian people, Grace, decided to vote for him here is a man who understands the damage caused to this economy by PF and he's got solutions to undo this damage. So, to run with that narrative now that he, he, you know, he didn't understand, you know, it's just not correct. The central bank governor today is the same central bank governor that was there under PF. So if the treasury were empty, he should have told him. And I'm sure he knew. So, yes, you know, you can, you can decide to be charitable, you know, about uh, the man's excuses now. But the truth of the matter is that uh, this is a man who understood the situation. He knew that he had no capacity, but he decided to lie to the Zambian people. And he continues to lie to date. And if you want in this program, I'll get on to his recent lies. So his trademark has become a president who lies. Kaunda used to say they lie in the morning, they lie over lunch hour, and they lie in the evening. That has become the UPND trademark.